Let's see what we pulled in this time. 4.2 pound brown trout. These are some big trout. At least I can get real big. I've seen them get up in over 8 pounds here on Falcon Lake in Oregon and Fishing Planet. Greetings and salutations guys, Jake Vegas here with Jake Vegas Digital and today we're going to do some fishing. I'm out here on Falcon Lake in Oregon, in Fishing Planet of course, and I'm just out here trying to catch me some brown trout. Now these trout can get rather large, usually they're about 3 to 5 pounds, but I've seen them get up and over 8 pounds, so let's see what we can do out here on Falcon Lake. Now I'm currently casting with my jig winner. I believe it's an eight foot, 10 inch pole. If it's not an eight foot, 10 inch pole, then it's a 10 foot, eight inch pole. <laughs> not sure which one offhand. I'll have to go to the menu and check. I've got a Prima 3500 reel on the, uh, on the rod and I'm only fishing 7.5 pound test. And I've got a narrow spoon, three fourth ounce with a three odd hook. Now this is a holographic spoon. Yep. Missed that hit there. Holographic spoon that can be used also at nighttime, but it works just as well during the day. And I found that I've caught these, uh, caught these brown trout quite a few times over in this area now. The exact spawn point that I'm at, I can't remember the exact name of it, but it is, um, it is two spawn points to the right of Bridge of Logs. And I believe it's the first, missed that one too, first spawn point to the left of uh, the waterfall spawn point on Falcon Lake. So it's right there. There's actually a little creek that runs behind it. Um, you guys may know where I'm talking about. I can't remember the exact name offhand. Anyway, we're fishing this narrow spoon, three fourth ounce. And uh, yeah, I've had some good luck out here catching brown trout and other trout as well on it. We'll see if we have that same kind of luck out here today. And we got a hit and we got a fish on, fantastic. Let's go ahead and bring this guy in. We'll see what we have. Fish on, fish on. Feels like it's got some fight to it. Might be a rainbow trout. Rainbow trout have fight like this, but I'm hoping it's a brown trout. Let's get it in here. Almost got it up to shore. We'll take a look at it. Looks like it's a brown trout from what I can tell. There we go. A 4.3 pound brown trout. Look at that fish. Nice looking fish. I kind of like these guys because they put up quite a bit of fight. They pay decent money. We'll put it on the stringer. Now I've moved my position down a little bit to the right of where I spawned in at. Uh, if you walk to the right. You'll see that uh, on the left hand side, of course, there is a little area where you can walk down into and fish. Now I'm fishing, casting out to the exact same um, spot of the lake that I, I was earlier in the video. Just uh, moved my body a little bit, a little bit further down, but still using the three fourth ounce spoon and we just got a hit on it. We got a fish on. We're going to go ahead and bring this guy in. There are rainbow trout over here as well as brown trout and even some cutthroats. So you might catch some of those as well, but we'll see if this one is a brown trout or, or not. And I just want to give a couple of shout outs real quick to a couple of guys. Want to give a shout out to David Games while I have this fish on. It's either David Games or David Gamers. I can't remember, but thank you, buddy. You sent me some fireworks. Uh... Wickus Van Dick sent me some fireworks again. I want to thank you, my friend. Uh, Hogger420 sent me a gold eagle spoon. I want to thank you for that. And look at this, guys. We have ourselves a 4.2 brown trout, $287. We'll go ahead and put this guy on the stringer. Getting back to my shout outs, another subscriber was kind enough to send me the uh, anniversary pack. 
which included seven days worth of premium, uh, two salmon rods, two reels, uh, a 440 pound keep net, along with a bunch of other features. So that subscriber actually asked me to keep his or her name uh, to not reveal it. And out of respect, I will do that. So, but you know who you are, my friend, and I want to thank you for that awesome gift. Now, I am fishing the three fourth ounce spoon on the jig winner pole before my critics get get on my back about it. I am aware that this lure is actually a bit too heavy for this particular pole, but I have not noticed significant damage to the rod from using it. The rod has not broke, and uh, I haven't really noticed much damage to the rod by casting with it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and continue to use it right now for the time being even though it's a bit too heavy for the rod so you guys out there who are particular about the lures uh, being you know just right for the rods and vice versa keep that in mind that this 3 4 ounce spoon is is a bit too heavy for this rod but like I said I'm using it haven't noticed any real damage so didn't catch anything on that cast it's okay we're gonna go ahead and cast right back out there hopefully we could bring in another brown trout now the damage that you actually do see on this rod at the current moment mainly was caused by uh <clears throat> fishing 30 pound catfish down in naran river but um yeah so there is previous damage on here like i said uh most of the damage is not necessarily from this narrow spoon. We got a fish on with the narrow spoon. And even even uh, even the case, even sustaining a little bit of damage, it's nothing that I couldn't repair um, with the money that I've made from catching brown trout out here. This thing is running with it. This feels like a decent sized brown trout or rainbow trout. I don't think it's a cutthroat. If it's a brown trout or a rainbow, either or, got some fight to it. But yeah, we'll go ahead and try to get this guy in here. Looks like he's, looks like he's given up just a little bit. Maybe not. I think it's a brown trout because it doesn't seem to have as erratic of behavior as the rainbow trout do. It's not darting off. Rainbow trout seem to be to dart a little bit in different directions a lot more. This trout doesn't seem to be doing that, which leads me to believe that it's probably a brown trout. But anyway, we're going to see momentarily as soon as we get it up here on shore. Almost up here. Let's get you in. What are you? You're looking brown to me, buddy. There we go. Another 4.2 pound brown trout. $289. Look at that fish, not bad, not bad. We will go ahead and put this guy on the stringer in just a moment. I want to admire it. Look at that thing flopping around there. Nice, nice fish. Real nice fish, put him on the stringer. Now I'm gonna go ahead and switch my bait to the natural eggs. I've been trying float fishing out here on Falcon Lake for trout. And uh, I've had relatively good luck for the different types of trout. I've caught uh, caught some rainbow trout, cutthroat, Oregon red bands so far, fishing with the natural eggs. So I figure why not give it a try and see if the brown trout in this area will uh, will hit on the natural eggs as well. So I'm going to cast out there with the natural eggs and see what comes of it. Going to let it sit out there. This, <laughs> this guy off, this guy that's off out there. Looks like he's trying to uh, exploit that underwater glitch. We got a fish on. Got to tell that guy that they fixed the underwater glitch. You can no longer go underwater um, and stay underwater. We got a fish on here. Let's get back to that. Much more important. We're going to reel him in. This one's got a little bit of fight to it, too. Yep, this one actually looks like a brown trout as well. I could kind of tell by its uh, colors when it splashed out of the water there. Yep, we got another brown trout. Not that big. 3.4 pounds. Still decent size, but smaller than any of the other ones we've caught so far here. $238. We'll put them on the stringer. All right, so in a previous video, you guys may have seen uh, the, my previous two Falcon Lake Oregon videos. I was over here at Bridge of Logs. 
casting for the uh, or float fishing for the Oregon and rainbow trout. And I'm back over here by Bridge of Logs. I'm not fishing the same spot that I was in the earlier videos. I'm actually fishing from the bridge itself. And I'm casting kind of to the area. Well, actually, no, it's not really kind of. The area that I was casting for the Oregon Red Bands and Rainbows is actually off to the, to the right there. But this is a little closer to Bridge of Logs. I haven't tried this yet. I've got shiners on. Um, I have caught trout on the shiners, but I haven't caught any brown trout. I don't even know if they're really over in this area, but I'm thinking the shiners might might entice maybe some larger fish like a trophy or even unique rainbow trout or maybe a trophy brown trout. Looks like I pulled that away and there was a fish by it. That's too bad. I'm going to have to sit, uh, leave this out here for a little bit longer then. So shiners do work for the trout. Um, but like I said, I don't know if there's any brown trout over here and I figured, Hey, why not come down here, give it a shot, see if we could pull out that or maybe a trophy or unique, uh, rainbow trout. So yeah, this is going to be my last video here on Falcon Lake in Oregon. After this, I plan on hitting the Everglades, Florida, going to do some bass fishing out there. Want to build up a little bit of a bankroll before I head out to Florida, though, because there is a bass caster rod that I'm really looking forward to getting. So I want to have that rod before I make that trip down to the Everglades. But right now we're concentrating on brown trout here on Falcon Lake. And um, looks like something's kind of running with my bait right now. I don't think that's just the shiner on there. I think an actual fish might have it. Might be contemplating taking it under. Come on, yep, there we go. All right, we got a fish on here. Wow, this thing, this thing feels like it's got some, got some fight to it. I know I say that often, but this fish, this fish feels rather large. I don't, I don't know. It feels bigger than most of the fish I've caught out of here. Let's see what it is. It's a brown trout, I know that. Holy sh... Wow. 8.413 pound trophy brown trout. Wow. Look at the size of this brown trout. That has to be on the leaderboards. I've only seen them get up to about 8 pounds in here. This is an 8.413. This is a rather large brown trout. Man. I hope I'm on the leaderboards after this one. Let's take a look at it. Get some pictures of it. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and conclude this episode here. You know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, please click that like button. If you want to stay up to date on people content and haven't done so already, please subscribe. I'm Jake Vegas with Jake Vegas Digital. Thanks for watching. Keep on fishing in the free world. 